Hey Jets fans, this is Green Bean and welcome to another late night vlog. Tonight, I was just putzing around, looking at some of this, some of that, some Jets breakdowns, and I stumbled on Luke Grant from Play Like a Jet breaking down Elijah Vera Tucker. And I gotta be real honest, I was inspired. I was inspired to talk about him, but I'm alone. So who better to talk about the Jets with than you, of course. So I want to thank Luke and Play Like a Jet for the work that they do. I'm a big fan of their stuff. But in addition, they've allowed me to use some of their material uh, just to show you exactly what got me so inspired. Now, there's a few voiceovers that I want to let you hear. Uh, Luke Grant puts things in an interesting way in this most recent video. But who is it that we're talking about here? Elijah Veer Tucker. He's our 310-pound left guard rookie that we've seen have a very important progression this year. A lot of the focus gets put on Zach Wilson, even to a, uh, you know, a lesser degree, Michael Carter, the running back. Then we have the defensive backs, and then Elijah Moore we're looking at. But Elijah Vera Tucker is one of the most important draft picks of the entire group. Obviously, he's a first-round pick as well. You know that we traded our two-thirds to move up from 23 to 14. They also threw in pick 143, a fourth-round pick uh, in that trade. So we gave up a lot of capital to move up and get one guy, Elijah Vera Tucker. The Jets felt that he was far and away the best left guard or the best guard and best interior lineman in the entire draft, and they wanted him. So they used the capital that they've earned from other trades, namely the Jamal Adams trade, to go up there and get the guy that they wanted above everybody else in the draft. And you got to applaud the aggressive nature. Up until this point, Joe Douglas has done a lot of trading back or trading people away for assets. This was really the first big move that Joe Douglas put forth to aggressively go up and get a guy that he wanted. And here he is. So we've seen him have some struggles this year. Up until three weeks ago, he had given up 35 pressures this year. Now his run blocking, it's been his strong suit so far. He's done a better job consistently in run blocking than pass protection. And we've seen a lot of difficulty from Zach being able to have time in the pocket to set his feet. And, and some of that admittedly came from Elijah Vera Tucker learning on the job here. The good news is that the last three games, Elijah Vera Tucker has only given up five pressures and one sack in last week's game, which is, hey man, we want to talk about progression. Elijah Vera Tucker has another upward trajectory. He has been improving weekly from the beginning of the season all the way until now. And in week 17 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he had probably his best game of the year or arguably his best game of the year uh, against a stout Tampa Bay defensive line. We have Sue and uh, Vita Vea in there. Those guys are, are they're, they're no slouches, right? They're, they're some of the best in the NFL. And Elijah Vera Tucker not only played well, he dominated at times. I want to use just three plays to highlight exactly how Elijah Vera Tucker is progressing and some of the really dominating moments in this week's performance. So let's take a look. Again, I'm using the tape breakdown that Luke Grant did for his video and a couple times throughout the vid I'm going to show you a little bit of his voiceover work as well I think you'll like it you'll see what I'm getting to here and Luke thank you for letting me use your tape here so I want you to focus on AVT here look how quickly he's able to get from his stance out in space in front of the ball carrier here now that's Devin White look at the job he does sealing off that edge for him and I'm going to let you listen to Luke here and what he says and then watch the finish drive this man 10 yards down the field and throw him to the ground like he's a child. <laughs> so, like he's a child. Now, the thing is with, with that type of a play, it is paramount that AVT is able to get out really about 10 yards away, 8, 9, 10 yards away from where he is initially to be able to get out in front of the ball carrier. And the fact that he can and get to where he's able to block the edge, the outside for the ball carrier is key. And look how easily he does it. And then, like Luke said, he finishes the play and drives Devin White into the ground. Here, I'll let you watch the play again here. So 
So here's the second play I want to show you. It's a totally different skill set. Watch how Elijah Vera Tucker can just do a little jump step to the left and get to the outside of Via Vea and keep him from being able to get to the outside from where the play is going. It's really impressive. I want you to see this. Okay, here we go. So look at him. He jumps. He just hops over a step. Gets to the outside of Vita Vea. Good hand work. And look at that. He's completely out of the play. But he was to Elijah Vera Tucker's outside. Look at that. And now he's on his inside. Fantastic. Now this is the one that got me inspired to actually make a video talking about another video, which is not something I do often. I'm just going to let Luke carry this one for a moment so you can see the words he used and what got me so excited. Now I'm going to stick the link to their original video in the top of the description of this video. So when you're done here, go over and watch that one. It's a full breakdown. There's probably like another four or five plays that they break down uh, and he does such a great job. But again, I couldn't help it. I had to talk about it. And because of the way that he describes this particular play. So check it out. And another example, this is just him trying to smack a man in the face. He's been more physical with Joe Tryon. Look at that mouth guard just flying across the screen as AVT just whacks him straight in the head with his shoulder. Just awesome power. This is just a grown man play from AVT. This is a rookie on rookie murder. Rookie on rookie murder. Rookie on rookie murder. That is first round pick AVT against first round pick Joe Tryon. He pulls, he comes down the line, boom, and his mouthpiece goes flying. That guy had no idea what hit him. That's the aggressiveness. That's the power of the guy that we drafted in the first round last year. I couldn't be more excited to have him. Rookie on rookie murder. You got to love it. And Luke, you did a great job. I want you to know, I feel really good about our draft picks. The 2021 draft class is looking pretty stout. AVT way out front of the group. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great night. Have a great night. And go Jets. Go Jets.